Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of Voice of Radio. So today, I want to show you some really quite ridiculous trophy cards from over in Japan that are absolutely beautiful and were almost a little bit unfair. Let me explain. So they are called... Well... It actually translates to proof of victory, but really they're called victory proof. And they're item cards that were given out as trophy cards for tournaments over in Japan to the top four competitors from the Junior, Seniors, Master and Open League at the 2020 Aichi Champions League that was held in December 2019. So these are ones that were given out right at the end of last year, before the whole tournament started getting cancelled and all of that. And they're absolutely beautiful. Now, if you want the top four, and there were two of these given out per age division, we are looking at this beautiful Pikachu picture. Very nice. Pikachu bronze crowd screams third place. If you get yourself into second, you've got this lovely silver crown with your Sobble, Score Bunny and Grookey. Scream second place. And if you go ahead and win, you get this beautiful gold crown with Zacian, Zamazenta, Screaming first place. Now, given that there were basically four competitions and that these were awarded to the top four on them, you can probably understand very, very quickly that these are going to be extremely expensive cards. These are going to be proper job expensive trophy cards. If you can actually find them for sale, which is going to be pretty gosh darn difficult, they're going to set you back a few quid. These aren't cards you're just going to be able to go and pick up. You're going to realistically probably be, be looking at the thousands here. This is a very, very, very expensive card. Now, it's also very much worth pointing out that tournaments have been cancelled. Yeah. Which means that opportunities to earn these cards, to win these cards, to get hold of these cards are being taken away. There was supposed to be a big tournament, a big regional in Japan, I believe in March that had to go and get cancelled because of all this stuff that's going on at the moment. So probably fair to assume that these are actually going to... Well, these are going to change, quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen. Things are going to change. One of the changes being these cards are going to get very, very expensive. So what do they do? Well, you know what? They're going to sound pretty gosh darn familiar. What they allow you to do is choose two basic energy in your discard pile, show them to your opponent, and put them into your hand. Wait a second. That's energy retrieval. That is literally just energy retrieval. And the answer is yes. Yes, it is. That is literally energy retrieval. Um, but you see, here's the thing. Energy retrieval is kind of an odd one. Because this almost, almost led these cards to be absolutely ridiculous. Now, maybe... This was deliberate. Maybe the cards wouldn't have done this if the reprints didn't happen. But you see, energy retrieval actually went away for, for, for quite a while. You see, energy retrieval was last printed in Sun and Moon. Then we had a rotation. And energy retrieval was gone from the rotation for a little while. Energy retrieval went away. Now, the good news is that Energy Retrieval came back with Sword and Shield. Because until it came back in Sword and Shield, we had no Energy Retrieval. Imagine what this would have done to this card. And Energy Retrieval is a good card, right? Energy Retrieval sees play. I should mention Energy Retrieval did get printed in Shining Legends as well. But that doesn't matter because Shining Legends also rotated out. So it's not like Shining Legends magically saved it from going away. Oh. Yeah, we've just gotten out of a format without energy retrieval. It's just come back. It's just been reprinted. But imagine if it hadn't been reprinted in Sword and Shield. As a side note, these cards, like I said, were first printed, these trophy cards, in December in Japan. 
Whereas Sword and Shield also came out around about that time. So we didn't have a situation where this actually happened. But it almost did. It came very, 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 very close. Imagine trying to get a place out of these. <laughs> Imagine actually trying to get a playset or victory proof to try and use with your energy retrieval. And the fact of the matter is, right, there are a bunch of decks around that really like energy retrieval. It's basically decks that can attach multiple energies from their hand. So Welder decks, for instance, really big fan of energy retrieval. Welder lets you attach two energy to fire energy from your hand and draw three cards. It's very good, but you need the energy in your hand. And there's a bunch of stuff that discard energy. So you've got things like the Nine Tails from Team Up that discards energy for a gusting effect. Things like Heat Factory Prism Star, which discards energy in order to draw free cards. As well as a multitude of Pokemon that discard energy in order to attack. Probably the most prevalent one at the moment being the Blacephalon from Unbroken Bonds that discards as many fire energy cards as you like from your hand, doing 50 damage for each energy that you discarded in this way. So clearly what you're trying to do is pepper energy down into the dis- Oh, hang on a second. So clearly getting the energy would be back. And yes, I know just as well as most of you do, that probably all of you to be fair, Fire Crystal has been printed and Fire Crystal is a fire card that lets you put free fire energy from your discard pile into your hand. It's not lost on me and I very much doubt it's lost on you guys that's not the point the point is that if we look at deck lists for fire decks at the moment i showed you a baby blacephalon list i want to say yesterday depends on when this goes up yesterday day before recently at least i showed you a list that played like free energy retrieval even though it was playing for fire crystal because actually fire crystal might be all well and good but it's not always enough this is a good card. It is a card that for a long time we all wanted back and we all realized that it was one that we needed back. And frankly, we had to wait a little while to get it back. And we finally did and that was lovely. But let's be clear, we almost ended up in a situation where the only way to have energy retrieval was this. And that was not going to work financially. Now, the alternative we would have had was Energy Recycle System. Energy Recycle System lets you put one basic energy from your discard pile into your hand or shuffle three basic energy from your discard pile into your deck. Clearly good as an item card for recovering energy into your deck. Clearly nowhere near as good as energy retrieval when we're looking at just getting our energy back. And there are other decks that are going to want this. Don't forget we got Frostmoth in Sword and Shield. Frostmoth, lovely Pokemon. Let's you attach as many energy water as you like from your hand to your bench water Pokemon during your turn. Don't forget we got Quagsire, so if you want to attach it to a non-water Pokemon... Just literally attach it to Quagsire and then use Quagsire to move the energy to whatever Pokemon you want as soon as that Pokemon has hit the active. There are some lesser used ones. We've got things like Magnazone Bow Flavors that let you attach as much metal or lightning energy as you like during your turn. Though do remember that metal does also have Mount Coronet which is literally exactly the same thing but as a stadium card. And that's quite good. That will work. That'll do the trick. And these decks would have loved it. And I kind of love the idea that this almost happened. I mean, it would have been kind of brutal and it would have given a few people an unfair advantage. But I'm not really convinced. Well, maybe somebody really rich. But I'm not sure like anyone could actually have gotten together a playset of them. As it is, it is the proper show-off energy retrieval. This is the look how rich I am version of energy retrieval. And that's kind of awesome. As a side note, it has a different name to Energy Retrieval. And I am not aware of any rule that has been implemented to say that you can't play them together. In the same way that there is a rule that says you cannot play Juniper, Sycamore and Professor's Research together. You actually do have to choose between them. So in theory, this could actually let you play Extra Energy Retrieval 
if you're able to get hold of these cards. Gives you kind of an advantage. Though I do want to go back to my point I made a moment ago, that actually trying to get hold of these cards is going to be extremely difficult. So we just avoided a situation where this was the only energy retrieval in the game, but we do still have a situation where you can actually play more than four energy retrieval, just so long as you're willing to pay a huge amount of money for the privilege. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to know what you think about all of this, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio or you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have pokemon in but are pretty gosh darn awesome nonetheless but by far the most important thing as always Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.